Now to a major development in the case of socialite Rebecca Grossman. The L.A. County D.A. removed two prosecutors who were key in her conviction. The parents of the two boys Grossman was found guilty of killing are frustrated. They say the two deputy D.A.s know the case better than anyone and had earned their trust. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard spoke with them today. We as the victims are, we feel like we're being punished by them being removed without any reason we could understand. Nancy Iskander and her husband Kareem say they've depended on the two prosecutors who won the guilty verdict against Rebecca Grossman earlier this year. We trust them. We know that they care. They are dedicated to the truth. They are very uh, by the book and uh, they, 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 they they are dedicated, they, they care about uh, justice and justice particularly for Mark and Jacob. And now, as Grossman awaits sentencing on murder and manslaughter charges, the parents say they can't understand why the two deputy DAs were pulled off the case. It is a shock, it is worrisome, and uh, it, it, it's certainly a, a change that makes us... Uh, Unsettled. This happened after those two prosecutors, Ryan Gould and Jamie Castro, filed a conflict of interest motion in the Grossman case, notifying the trial judge last month that their own supervisor at the district attorney's office, Diana Turan, and Grossman now shared a defense lawyer. Attorney Jim Spurtis, seen here at an unrelated trial, joined the Grossman case after the conviction. And it's because Turan was charged by the state attorney general with 11 felony counts that a Allege she misused confidential law enforcement information. Grossman was convicted in February of murder and vehicular manslaughter for speeding through a crosswalk in Westlake Village in 2020, hitting and killing 8-year-old Jacob and 11-year-old Mark. The Iskanders say they hope the district attorney will reconsider the decision. From a mother's perspective, when you lose two kids, um, there's really not much others can say to help you or comfort you when you bury two of your children. Um, and we felt through these four years, Ryan and Jamie were the support, right? Those who are working hard to bring us justice. Grossman faces more than 30 years in prison. Her sentencing has been delayed until June, and her new attorney, Jim Spurtis, says he plans to ask for a new trial. Spurtis didn't return our calls for comment on the Grossman case or his representation of assistant DA Turan. The DA's office told us in a statement, though, that the two trial lawyers will continue to advise the new prosecutor assigned to the case. And as for the conflict of interest, a judge is expected to address it at a hearing later this week. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.